welcome to chapter 9, the shard. It's 9.55, you guys. And gals. This is a really weird level. Notice how Merc's not going to talk to us, because Merc is dead. How sad for Merc, and for us. It is actually sad. He was a cool character. So this is the last chapter in the game. If you have made it through this whole series, why thank you. Much appreciated. I've realized that reading facts in chapter 8 was probably not the greatest idea ever, since all the facts kind of sucked. And I need to hurry up and finish this level, because I have a bike ride to go on today. And we just need to finish up this Let's Play, because Faith needs to find her sister. Uh-oh, we gotta get in there. So we opened up a gas leak, there's a spark. Let's watch the spark ignite. I always thought that's a cool effect. So this level doesn't have a lot of flow. It's not like any other level in the game. It's just really funky. There's gonna be a lot of like cutscenes and stuff, and you only have six minutes to actually complete the level. Which isn't that hard, I guess, but you can't really dilly-dally that much. Oops, wrong elevator. And there's a lot of elevators in this one too. In fact, there's only one more elevator in the game though. I know, right? But it's the longest one. Ta-da! I do like the texture sets for this level. I think there's the coolest textures in the entire game in this one. Bam! That's really not nice to punch a girl in the face. Good work. Checker. It's the Colonel from Kentucky Fried Chicken. You gonna shoot me too? No. Right now, your case best hope. Weren't these your guys? No, they're PKs. Pirandello crew. Private security. What's going on, Miller? Pope's murder. Turns out there was a man on the inside. Ropeburn? Yes. You were right about him. I tried to get answers myself. But why Kate? They needed a CPF cop to look like Pope's killer. No time to explain more. Take this comms unit and head for the roof. It's where they've taken Kate. I'll contact you when it's safe. I'll hold them off. The roof! Go! Now! So the new Merc is a lot cooler because he dual wields pistols instead of just dual wielding a mouse and keyboard. So in this room, you don't have to fight anybody. There's a pretty easy route around uh, this whole set of people. Chapter 9, some people think is... I think this is like one of the easiest chapters in the game as far as speedrunning. I definitely think Chapter 6 has probably got the hardest jumps. And boom. and this is the longest, last elevator in the game, but the longest one. Because we have to wait for this um, button to pop open, because the elevator is going to get stopped by the private security. But that takes a really long time, so I will cut to that. There we go. So we push the button, because they stopped the elevator. Now we get out the elevator, and we could do the real way to do this, or we can do the fun way. So we need to grab the bar. Which can kind of be hard. Are you reading me? I'm and then we just do this. Get out of so that room also takes a long time if you don't know where to go. But we know where to go because we're cool like that, yo. And then up here, up here, up here. And this is the biggest vent in the entire game. I'm gonna try and do this first try, but there's a really oh okay. I'm pretty sure that you can't hear the, uh, there we go, the chainsaw in the background. I have a shotgun microphone that only picks up, like, a pretty small cone of noise. Oops, she was supposed to vault there, like, right away. What a shotgun microphone is, it's like, uh, oh, we're supposed to go straight here. If I go left, there's, like, a runner's bag over there. But a shotgun microphone basically just picks up noise in a pretty narrow cone. So it's pretty directional. If it, you're like on the other side of it, it won't pick it. It's not like a blue snowball. Like a snowball would pick up noise from virtually every source in the room. Same thing like with the Yeti. But uh, a shotgun microphone is kind of for I see you now. shooting. I Hold on. So now we're at the sniper area. A shotgun microphone is for like shooting footage where you need uh, like a really narrow cone of sound. I know that is not super specific, but like the X Games, okay. Oops, there we go. They have guys with shotgun microphones like down 
hold on we gotta go right here down like on the walls of the half pipe and they're only there to pick up the sound from the snowboard and not the crowd and like nothing else really so faith is resilient she can take a lot of bullets as we've been able to see through the game just pretty much like every video game ever and now we come across the pipe first time i played through this level i thought it was so hard but it's not very hard and i think it's one of the easier ones in the game but overall what do you think what do you think of the game you've seen it i've showed you most of the really fast routes if you're wondering what else is in this game oops i should have coiled there if you're wondering what else is in the game there's a bunch of time trials so this is not the end of the game not just these chapters you can go in and play all the time trials which are basically modified versions of all these um arenas and all these levels and they have different objectives and so you can play through them and try and get really fast times there's leaderboards online for it you can play through the campaign again with an actual timer and clock for a speed run i was wrong there's one more elevator this is the last elevator in the game and we're coming up on the server room which is i hate it it's like the most annoying room in the game especially if you want to do it fast it's really kind of random and I'm not going to be doing it fast. I'm going to try and do it the safe way, which means uh, if you destroy those servers, their emergency protocol should automatically unlock the doors. I hope. Good luck. That's not a really good protocol to have. Look around. Surveillance for the host. Somebody breaks your servers, then all the security systems go offline. Damn. Sounds like they've taken Kate to the roof. They've got a chopper coming in. You have to be quick. What? You have to be quick. Okay. So. We are going to do this the safe way. And I hope I get this first try, because sometimes I die here. We're gonna disarm this dude. Take your gun. Smack you in the face. We're gonna shoot the heavy gunner on our left. Look left. I'm gonna shoot that guy. It's really hard, because my sensitivity is really high, too, on the stick. And the aiming is not, like, the sweetest ever. And some guy's gonna come around the corner in a second, so I need to... I need to do this. Oops! I don't have bullet time. I'm gonna die. So, I need to get the heavy gunner. which has the accuracy of like a toothpick. And then we just shoot all the servers and we did it. There we go. So it's hard to do that in the fast way just because it's really random. Um, sometimes they shoot you, sometimes they don't. And we pretty much, you guys were coming into the last area of the game. And I'm not gonna make fun of the cutscenes at the end because they're actually pretty stinking cool. So we're gonna hop over here. And we're way below our six minutes that we needed to hit. And I hope my game doesn't freeze. No, it doesn't freeze. And long cutscene. Hello, Faith. Jack, if you couldn't. Attitudes like that. That's it. Well, that's exactly why I could. Jack Knight. Just say I know who the bigger fish are. Callahan. Why us? We're no threat. Classic warfare. Break the lines of communication. Shoot the messengers. Without hope. And without the runners. Your clients. Those who just won't let go of the old city be cut off. Vulnerable. And this city can clean up the last of its Dregs. What's a drag? This is just the start. I prefer to think of it as an end. Still, you did a remarkably good job of coaxing out all those loose ends surrounding Pope's demise. It's why you're still alive. You can't live on the edge all your life, Faith. Sooner or later, you have to jump. Get it? Because the name of the game is Mirror's Edge. Hey-oh! 
That's the stormtroopers. That guy's not even ready. His gun wasn't even up. Oh. Oh. Take this! And I don't know why the helicopter suddenly crashes there, but it's way cooler. Uh-oh. Wow, what a good grab. Literally, like, the best song in a game ever. It's on Spotify, by the way. And everybody, that is Mirror's Edge. One of the best games of this generation, despite what the critics had to say. And hopefully now, you're prepared for Mirror's Edge 2. If you haven't yet, pick up this game. It is inexpensive most every place you can get. The replay value is exceptional, and it's just overall a great game. I think there could be a lot of potential in Mirror's Edge 2. So, thank you for watching. My name is BBK Dragoon. If you enjoyed the series, let me know with a uh, comment, or if you wanted to share this with someone. That's always appreciated in my heart. It's appreciated in my heart, you guys. I'm going to let the credits roll because it wouldn't be fair to not give the credit to the people who made this game. I will see you down the road. Or on the edge. The Mirror's Edge. Have a good day, guys.